Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani. Today, I wanna to talk about how I keep my locks moisturized. As always, there are timestamps on this video, so if you're looking for a specific part, you can just go through the timestamps, but of course, I want you to watch this entire video. All right, so let's start off by talking about how my locks got dry in the first place. When I first started my lock journey, y'all know rose water was my holy grail. I was always using rose water and I just really felt like it made my hair flourish. And I actually have a rose water tutorial in this video, but I just want to give you context first. If you watched my previous lock journey update, I talked about how when I run out of something, I don't go get it. Once it's done, it takes me so long to restock something. Like I literally have to write something down if I need, like if it's running low, I have to write something down so that I can restock it because once it's gone, it's gone. I'm not gonna re-up. So once I ran out of rose water, I was only using aloe vera juice. And when I think back on it, I was using aloe vera juice for literal months. I didn't really notice that my hair was dry just because to be honest, I just wasn't even focused on my hair. If you watched my 18 month lock journey update, you know, that month I was just going through it. So my hair was in a ponytail for basically the entire month. And then month 19, I had my hair in twists. So I was just never really having my hands in my hair enough to really feel what my hair was feeling like. And that's honestly something that I never want to do again on my lock journey. You really have to be intentional about your lock journey because you just have to care for your locks. And I just feel like I wasn't caring for my locks. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it, but I have to be mindful about keeping my hair hydrated. It wasn't until I was wearing my hair down when I was like, okay, this aloe vera is literally sucking the life out of my hair. Like my hair feels like a brick. Let me know if you've ever experienced dryness with your locks. What caused it and how did you fix it? But anyway, I really like aloe vera juice because I like to spend it on my skin so I was assuming that it would be okay for my hair and I still think that it is okay for my hair but I feel like it needs a little bit more like it needs something else to really hydrate it like my hair I don't know what I'm saying I feel like I'm rambling but I feel like my hair needs a little pizzazz like the aloe vera juice just isn't it you know it like it, it that can't be the only thing I'm putting on my hair is basically what I'm trying to say but anyway, I did still want to keep using aloe vera. So I had to think back and I was like, what was I doing at the beginning of my journey that I'm not doing now? And I feel like we have to do that. When we start to see a change in anything, we have to be like, okay, what was I doing when things are when things were good? Let me go back to doing that. So I was like, what was I doing? And I was using rose water. And actually somebody left a comment on one of my videos like, do you still use rose water? Cause you don't talk about it. And I'm like, girl, I don't use rose water. Why don't I use rose water anymore? Now, Nonetheless, I made some rose water and I mixed half rose water, half aloe vera, and my hair has been flourishing ever since. I will leave the link to the aloe vera juice down in the description box and I'm about to show you a tutorial on how I make my rose water. All right, so that is how I make the rose water. And y'all, my hair soaks this rose water right up. It feels so hydrated. I literally love rose water. I don't have a recommendation for a brand because as you see, your girl makes her own. I ain't about to buy no rose water when I could just make some rose water. But I encourage you to try out some rose waters if you don't wanna make your own, just try some out. And if you like some certain brand of rose water, just leave it in the comments below. And also don't get in the comments talking about the pesticides from the bouquet. I don't care. Because when I posted that video, people were like, oh my God, the pesticides. And it's like, worry about yourself. So I'm gonna tell you like this, if you feel compelled to write a dissertation about how you feel about me buying store-bought flowers to make rose water, I want you to write it in your notes and read it to yourself. 
because I don't care. But anyway, thank you for watching this video and thank you for making it to the end of this video. As always, I truly appreciate it. If anything that I said in this video resonated with you, let me know in the comments. And if you want me to cover something that I haven't already talked about, let me know that too. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up so you let the algorithm know that you like my videos. You like watching Romani. I will leave my socials down in the description box along with my business. Your girl is a personal trainer. So if you're trying to get fit, fine. I'm a personal trainer in person, online. I got waist training. I got all of that stuff. So look in the description box and everything is going to be there. And you can use the code YouTube for some money off. All right, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video.